All right, it is time to talk about the brand new GR-B300 series Gravity Master G-Shock. First, shout out to My Japan for making this video possible. Go through the link down in the description box below to get yours or if you want to get any other G-Shock that I'll be featuring throughout the video while supporting the channel at the same time. So thank you in advance. Next up, also shout out to the best Gravity Master up to date. Still, even after this came out, the GPW2000 Premium. It's still one of the best full analog G-Shock watch out there. Look them up, I made a couple of videos about that watch already, so be prepared to be amazed. Now, as is, let's have a look at what we have so far. This is the reality. This is what we got so far. Let's look at it as is. What makes a GR-B300 a GR-B300 series? First and foremost, it comes in full analog format, which is great for a pilot or aviation inspired watch, in this case, fighter jet in its design, not in its function. So we'll talk about the design afterwards. Let's have a look at the function real quick because it is really, really basic. You got a moving second hands in the red colorway, our minute hands, which is really quite rugged looking in this design. Index marker, massive, very visible. I mean, this is probably one of the best in terms of visibility. If you always complain about the G-Shock watch being hard to see, too tiny, you know, all those kind of things get a full analog option instead in this case a gravity master now we got a subtitle there for day display and then mode stopwatch timer alarm that's it no sensor whatsoever given it is a full analog format pretty limited and also for the price point as well function is going to be limited unlike this gwa 1100 which has at least one sensor compass plus flyback hand, which is kind of cool anyway back to this guy over here we got a sub dial down here for the dual time function or world time depending on what you set up the time to be and the am pm for this time zone next up a disc just for animation and at hometown it will serve as a battery level negator for three different stages which i'll add over here you got your date display down there some minutes indicator on the metal ring on top on the outside part of it which is kind of cool as well a mineral glass at the front not dome shaped like the previously released gr-b 200 series which is previous generation now when you compare it back looking back this watch seems to be much better now especially when you see those exposed carbon fiber steel screws different bezel design textured button even color accent here and there this is far better in comparison to this even though it is lacking on the tough solar spec it is still better design wise in my opinion but then again this is much more comparable if you could remember to the older one of the earliest gravity master gw-4000 i made a video about those as well or another version gw3500 series if you compare that to watch to this guy it is much more related in its design in its sizing in its simplicity though the body lines kind of reminds me of a ga1100 if i'm not mistaken or the ga2000 might be mistaken but though due to how in my case since i picked up the boring black and white colorway it does looks boring it kind of reminds me again to the gac 100 god i've been referring to plenty of g-shock at this minute already so i hope you guys could catch up there's so many things that are similar to this watch and i haven't even mentioned to the fact that how all of the sub are really similar to the gst b 100 series come on this watch is a lot in terms of the uh, reference point wise anyway if you want to go to all the modes you're going to choose this button now instead of this button which is unique one of a kind uh, a compliment to this watch i would say even though if you want to complain about this watch there's so many things you complain but we gotta give the compliment where compliment is due right so first mode stopwatch which is pretty basic works pretty much like every full analog g-shock watch out there you got a sub over there for the counter 224 hour range stop or start and the stop and reset as the stopwatch goes actually the minutes will rotate and while at it this disc here will mimic the movement pretty much it will rotate alongside with that minute a hand didn't do anything just for fun okay stop and reset next mode to countdown timer same exact thing except the hands now will move backwards which is 
always cool to see that and while it as the minute progress the sub down will rotate alongside this thing as well so right now it is set up to 10 minutes you can set it up using the crown or from your smartphone via bluetooth and then alarm a single alarm and in this case you could see it as i turn the alarm off or on you can see that this disc will just rotate just for fun all right nothing much going on there back to home thumb keeping and that's it if you want to pair it to your phone use this button down here with that caution color scheme there kind of cool in this texture for the button all four of them have same texture but this one has white color to, to pair it to your phone for phone finder for watch setup and also for flight lock functions yeah, this is indeed an aviation inspired or based g-shock watch does the name gravity master now done with the function let's move back out to the design which is the main highlight for the watch function Nothing much going on, pretty basic. Design wise, it is new. In a way, how all of the parts are integrated together. It is still a carbon core based G-Shock watch that's very, very lightweight, very comfortable. Even though it is big, it is so comfortable in this regard. And next up, it feature a multi-layer guard structure, which if you guys remember, are pretty much the same build out of a G-Steel G-Shock watch, except instead of using metal, it is using resin. But the idea is still the same. Well, we still have metal ring over here, a resin bezel at the top side of it, another resin bezel in white colorway in my case. And this is my highest compliment for the watch due to the pretty much the precision part of it. The fact that it combined three different uh, material here, and you can see the accents goes over here, down here, a little bit here, here, here. I like this thing and I'm kind of curious to see what if I change this white color scheme to, I don't know, might more vibrant color accents say this kind of green i think the watch would pop up even more maybe i'll try it out in the disassembly video later in the future but as of right now it looks pretty boring but still at this angle really amazing now since we're here though notice that there's the texture and it blends really well to the strap pretty much like uh most new release g-shock watch which is uh, focusing more and simplicity is not a thing for a uh, gravity master for entry level model okay for this no but still you'll see some texture which is good uh, normally we got the texture at the center part of the strap but now on the side so there's that which definitely gonna scratch over time by the way and goes all the way down here new holes design i gotta compliment something keep an open mind guys there's not a lot to compliment for the watch uh i give it just give it <laughs> next up on this other side you got a top solar dual time function for the sub dial just now water 20 bar to resistance band keeper over here and the buckle i'm gonna start complaining now if you look back before to the grb 200 notice that it also comes in plastic but at least it is thicker it is bigger the design is i mean look at that it is so much better than one of these if they're gonna be lazy like this at least just use metal man why use plastic why even bother at all so there's that at the bottom side of the strap there's no texture and goes all the way down here notice that there's something going on on this side that attached to the lug of the watch it looks like it's supposed to have an adapter look at that this really look like there's supposed to be an adapter over here and even from the front the way that the band connect to this section it almost appeared like it has it's supposed to be an adapter here but somewhere between the designing process and the manufacturing process somebody messed up and decided to just mix them up together which is a total loss of opportunity they should have made a different part and that would be much better i think anyway since we're here though i'm gonna complain again look at the back plate it is really basic so which also one of the reasons why i want to compare this to the gw4000 or the gw3500 rather than this guy at least the shape is different even though it's still the same thing but the standard the og if you're used to owning gravity master this is it this is what we used to get before look at the design look at the texturing it's the artwork in this case just ridiculous now yeah so this is my, one of the huge complaint i have for the watch next up the crown this is the most ridiculous part for a master of g category watch this is unacceptable look at this design i know it is totally unnecessary to have this ruggedness on the crown but i mean come on we have standards here guys this is a master of g not just some entry level i don't know a g steel even a g steel have this is not a crown but it looks kind of like a crown but it's still better than one of these plus the position is a bit awkward it's it's at the bottom maybe because the bezel is too thick i don't know but still it is i mean this is unacceptable man for the crown it's ridiculous also it is really small but then again i'm conflicting between uh, master of g and the simplicity of entry level g-shock so there's that also if you look at it overall 
you know if you're just looking for an aviation inspired watch that is full analog you don't need any sensor you just want to know uh, the time that you're in and the city time of this next city that you are visiting or if you just want to use the flight log function for whatever reason this is a simple enough watch for those kind of purpose for those kind of people and like every g-shock out there i mean come on they make every watch to be fitting to the smallest type of niche smallest as possible and this is the smallest type of niche for those type of audience i think i think this is my personal opinion you could disagree i don't mind aside from that let's balance things up let's uh complement this watch a bit you can see massive index marker glows to the dark for the top side only our I mean, hands could close as well and then there's the led backlighting to complain this part it did not have the auto light function not a shame there but yeah overall man this watch has its ups it has its downs but for a g-shock watch fans like i am i do not like this thing and i could agree if you guys feel the same as well but think of it like a brand new users i guess this watch looks really cool really clean i would say for a master of g a clean version of a master of g which is something that should shouldn't do but here it is okay with that said let's finish it up with some wrist check because this watch just fits really really well if you have a skinny wrist like i am since it is lightweight like i already said earlier feels really good fits perfect it looks clean there's nothing else to say there all right it is what it is it looks the way it is like it or not it is here to stay maybe not in my case maybe i'm gonna customize it up to different color or maybe just sell this and pick up the orange and black version instead we'll see how it goes for now that's it thank you very much for watching i'll be seeing you guys in the next one this is g shock high fashion channel and i am out